Hey guys, welcome back. You join me here at race day at Bahrain Grand Prix. So we're here on the uh, race preparation screen. We're doing the strategies for both drivers. And you can see we've swapped it around. So we're giving Alex the chance to do medium, medium onto the hards to finish the race. Running at max pace for the entire race. And Tio is going to do hards to start and then finish socks off. So that is the plan in our little heads. We are already, are we a lap down? So we'll knock a lap of fuel out of the car for both drivers and fingers crossed guys we are set here to go racing we have clear weather tonight as we look at the drivers in their grid positions here we have alexander albon slower than most yesterday so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid and looking at the second Williams car. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. Will their hard work pay off today? Here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. Two lights, three lights, four lights, it's five lights. lights out, and, and away we, we are go. racing. So we're going to jump on board with Teal. Albon is alongside us, and I think Tio has managed to grab Albon. So we're going to go to just speed two here. Oh, Albon's back down the inside. Nope, that was Stroll. So we are Looks on like full deploy as well, guys. Have just gained a race position. We are on full deploy. So can we do anything with this? I would like to see Albon try and get Mick and Vettel if we could. I think P16 would be a nice result here. But who knows? Who knows? And already our medium tyres for Alex are overheating. Crazy. Considering we've just started. Come on, Tio. Send this. Now, Stroll is on the hard or the soft tyres. So. Oh, what a move finish it off yes okay that's good that's good so we now need to try and slowly catch up to the DRs of the back of and Albon an and I think we win oh, we're lacking so much straight line speed that Haas is quick in a straight line So I think we're going to have to now swap to neutral. And with the first lap done, we're going to speed it up here to times two. Just see how we go. So Stroll is falling off the back. Yes, he is. Oh, don't do it, Tio. Don't fight teammates. Last thing we need to do is have the two of them fighting and losing time. We don't need that. So what we can start doing with Tio now as well, I think, oh no, we'll have to wait till we get into DRS train, I think. Oh, it's an interesting strategy, what are we going to do? We'll burn the fuel, we'll burn it. I think once we get into the DRS train, we can probably afford to uh, back to balance, DRS and we're in it now. So we won't have it on this street, but we will get it on out of turn three. So we should have it there, so we can now flick our fuel back to balanced. And as you can see, straight away with the DRS, that has is gone. So we just need to try and hold on to the back of Vettel now for a bit. Vettel gets back Mick Schumacher, so we'll all get it going down the pit streets. And if we can keep dropping stroll like this, it'll be fantastic. I'd be quite happy with all of that. 
So once we settle in here, we will speed up a little bit because I'd say it's going to be a fairly bore fest. Oh, Alban going down the outside. Oh, look at that from Alban. Yes, and we get a run here on Mick. Oh, Alban's going and around the outside. Position. Just gained by Williams. Oh, he didn't quite make it stick, but like Alban is on fire. Tire life is looking okay. Go on, Alex Alban. The question is, dear, do we risk it two seconds to try and catch up to Denny Rick? I do get the feeling Stroll is or Vettel is going to come back at us here down the street, but it's one of these ones. I think we need to break that uh, that straight line speed. We probably should have done it when he did the overtake. That may be a strategy mistake on my half. But um, we'll see what our ERS is like going down the pit straight this time around. And uh, if we can deploy a bit, we will. But the album is slowly falling back now, okay? That is a problem. But if we could bake the, the DRS, we would have a great shot of doing it. We're going to set Albon to defend. Flick the camera to rear. Here comes Stroll. Nothing we can do. Back to neutral. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. All right, so we're gonna do a quick harvest, quick neutral. Just hoping to harvest here. Harvest all the way down the back straight. Neutral here for the start finish line. Have to do a little bit of management just to get it back up. Hopefully Tio can hang on in the background. Um, oh, we managed to hold that time around. Mind you, not by much, but we're just gonna do a quick harvest again. And in a couple of laps, hopefully, we'll be in a good position to uh, maybe. Oh, that was a that was a poor move. We're going to get done here on this race. Uh, right. So once we get the overtake done this time, we are going to go full deploy and see can we break the. Looks uh, like Aston Martin have just gained don't a race do it position. Here. Don't do it here. Oh, he's going to do before the airs. No. But now we have to wait to the end of the start next race, do we? Yes, we do. Alright, we're going to overtake. Oh, it didn't work. Now we have broken it to Mick, which is interesting. But I get the feeling Mick will catch back up. Yep, there he is, he's back in us. Right, we're gonna go full deploy. And there's an overtake from Williams. Oh, I don't think we've done it. Oh, it's gonna be very upsetting. Ooh, it's interesting. I don't know how we've done it. No, we haven't. We're going to keep the deploy on now. We're going to try and break that one second barrier, and then if we can do that, we settle him back into his rhythm. I'm going to go max push. It's so hard to break the tow around here with tree zones. Only 
thing is they're going to fight amongst themselves. So we're going to have to do another couple of laps of harvesting. Oh, the management. The management. So while this boar fest is going on, guys, I think we will leave it here for a bit. And if anything exciting happens, we will jump right well, back to the time. action. So we joined the action back here a couple of laps later. Uh, Tio is fighting away with Mick. Uh, we're hoping that by all this fighting and squabbling, we're just letting Albon pull away just ever so slightly. Um, he's entering his pit window here now, so once that happens, some of the fight will be gone out of it, but we'll see. He's nearly got a two second lead, which isn't bad. So, and people are starting to throw away the softs now, so I'd actually imagine Mick might even pit now. Um, so, this is an intriguing part of the race for us. Does Mick pull into the pits? Yes, he does. We should get the RS, we do. So we're up to P1415, it's exciting times. What can we do with this? Only time will tell. Um, another couple of laps until we have a pit stop for Alex. So he's doing quite well. We might even be able to extend that by one because he's managing to conserve his tires quite well, which is fantastic for us. We get more soft cars pitting, so we might gain one or two more places. I think we're going to get the other half of Magnussen. Yep. Ooh, who's that? Joe coming through there. Clearly he's got the faster car, but again, if we can just tuck in behind him, we might save a little bit of tyre, or not, uh, fuel even, which would be also important. Especially for Albon, he does need to catch up to somebody soon to save a tyre or else let Joe go past. The danger of this is Joe is probably going to bring Vettel back into the equation against us. And there's an overtake from Williams. So this lap coming up is going to be the pit stop window for Alex, but as I say, we might extend one more. It's still got 43% tire life, so we're going to ignore the pit option and extend by a lap or two. Um, like he's flat out attacking for the whole race, so uh, we'll do one. Oh, we'll do one more lap, and that will give us a maximum attack on the next stint as well. One just seems so slow sometimes. Although the noises that you get with two sometimes are a little bit iffy but still so far we have a great race guys we're running at p11 and 12 obviously there's pit stops yet to come um i'd imagine once we make our stop we'll probably be oh vettel pitted so we need to keep an eye on the time to vettel um ricardo as well is one of interest And Joe is there and Joe could pull him along oh it's going to get interesting we have another pitter so we're actually into the top 10 and I do think this lap is probably the lap we should hit Alex and we're going to go to another fresh set of mediums pit this lap now how is Tio's tire life Tio is kind of running an average life span We'll see, we might gain one lap out of TO as well. Um, how we are looking to see who's catching. Yeah, yeah, we might come up here behind Vettel, I'd say the undercut could have done us in. Could even be tight with Stroll. Oh man. We've had a spin. So there goes Albon into the pits. Where is he going to come out? He's out of the pits. Oh, it's going to be tight. Just ahead of Vettel. Oh my God. 
just going to harvest a bit down around here. We're going to go neutral. Seb is going to have Is a lot of DRS here. Position for Haas? Managed to hold off. That's okay. So we've actually, on the pit stop, managed to work that very well. And we've both had mediums. Um, Tio, we're going to squeeze another lap out of Tio as well. When we get to the back half of the track we're going to go into harvest mode again oh that's scary they're all coming there pretty quick and a new position just gained by so there's Williams. only plenty of swaps like this but as i say we're looking out to save our ers build it back up and try and charge and break the gap from us to vettel take a couple of laps but again if we can get over that one second barrier we get out of this squabbling Oh, we poor mistake there. I'm probably going to get done again on this race. Amazingly, we didn't. So the more they can fight behind us, uh, the better. Uh, oh, don't forget about Tio. Pit this lap. Tio is going to go to the mediums. So we're just going to get a rinse and repeat of our last move. We can actually probably, again, stick on the harvest. Or the vet might come back at us. But nope, we got him. Uh, and there's an overtake from Williams. And we're going to go to neutral. So Tio's in the pits now. It'll be interesting to see where all, we all come out. He's going to be right in this fight, I think. Could even be ahead of Ricardo, I think. No sign of him out of the pit exit. Oh, Joe and Vettel down the inside. Oh, this is not going to be good. Only good thing here, uh, he didn't quite get Ricardo, but we're definitely ahead of Mick Schumacher. Um, the only good thing about this now is the chance for Albon to save a bit of fuel, which is fantastic. And a new position just gained by Williams.
looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. So as you can see over the last lap or two the action has been quite intense um, really on for a good battle here for P14 um, it will all come down to Alex's last stint on the hard tires and we should probably look to try and conserve some DRS here or ERS even for a team but we've Ricardo right on our tail and I'm just nervous that if I give up too much too soon we'll, we'll suffer Good news is Tio is holding 18 pretty strongly by himself. Quite happy with that. We need to deploy here, Liam. Um, so yeah, Tio is doing quite a sterling job here, looking after the tires quite well as well. So we might be able to extend our second pit stop by one lap too, and that will see us finish the race pretty strongly with Tio. Um, we just need to keep harvesting here. We should get DRS, hopefully Ricardo doesn't get to run on us. I'm not sure what happened there with Vettel. We're just going to go maximum DRS saving if we can. And we're going to go to neutral, just to keep the gap under the second mark. It's all about race management, it take a bit of time. Um, obviously, if I was way off last place, we'd be uh, pretty fast here on our times because we'd probably be on times eight or four by now. But uh, when the action is this tense and a small decision could affect our outcome, it's definitely something we want to do. We have a spinner up ahead. Sounds like a spin! I think Vettel's last to Joe. So yeah, I think Joe's gone now. He just overtook Sanu. Can't even say the name Sanuda. And um, yeah, I think he's checked out there now. Vital important here now that we don't get stuck here behind Sanuda because he seems to be very slow. So we're just going to go overtake here. We want to stick on Vettel's rear wing if we can help us. The RS is currently disabled. The RS is currently oh, disabled. Oh no. Yep, copy. So yeah, we didn't quite harvest enough going around there, so we need to do a bit more of that. Low fuel, so be mindful of that. Oh no. All the good messages are coming now. Um, the only thing with Tio is he has a buffer. We could slow him a bit if we need to, but we're okay while I think uh, if we can get the opportunity. Oh, he's on the hard tires. That's where the pace has dropped off. Hmm, interesting. So we're coming into Albon's second stop window. Um, as I say, we'll probably extend by one or two. We do need to get some DRS back. So we'll let this overtake happen into the braking zone. Harvest DRS. And I gotta mute the mic because I have a sneeze coming. 
And there's an overtake from Williams. Alpha Tower regained a place. Phantom Sneeze, we're back here, and Sanuda got us again, so just going to keep keep this little battle going. Um, I think P13 could be gone nearly two seconds now up the road, and this constant fighting is just and slowing a new us position down. Just gained by Williams. So we're going to go, no, we're going to go to neutral. We don't want to lose the vet in here. That's a position gained for Alpha Tower. So now we're going to go harvest. And the vet is starting to drop off here. Interesting. Just over the one second now. So that's interesting. <clears throat> As we go in on Snoot again, we're not going to do that move. How did Vettel get the DRS there? He's after pulling right back under a second. So we're just going to ignore this avoid because this fight is good and we do definitely have another lap in the tires so we're going to go for it. And Tio has managed to substantially save his tires, so I'm not sure how he did that, but he's done it. And we're going to go to Harvest here. Uh, back to times two. So we're right in the bang stop for stop, and we're going to the hards next. So, oh Jesus. Oh, that's a mistake. Gives Vet right on our backs. So I think we can stop kind of harvesting for a while because we're coming into the pit stop thing. Um, we're going to just conserve their lap fuel here is looking okay. We're still a lap down. So I think this could be the lap to do it. Yep, push. Pit. Hards on. Is Snoo doing a one stop, I wonder? Possibly not, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yep, we have extended by one lap, so that should see our hearts easily to the end. Uh, oh, we can't do much more. So, into the pit lane. We'll go for a different camera angle. Hair tires on. Boys are away. That is a mighty fast stop. So we go, oh, who's right behind us? Oh, it's a Ferrari. Oh, can we tuck in on the, the Ferrari for a while? Probably not. Nah, he's gone. So Albon is at stone last now after his second stop, but on course to finish the race. We're just going to go to balance. We don't need to burn all the fuel. Where is Tio? Tio's coming up to a pit stop. So we're going to extend Tio as well. going to ignore that. Strolls in the pits, Magnuson is exiting the pits, that's going to cost us some time with T.O. Someone spun out! Ocon spins. Where was Ocon running? Probably high up the grid. He's down on 11 now anyway. Jeez, that Ferrari's fast. 
Oh, that's going to just cost us time. That is unlucky. A couple of little iffy mechanics in the game. That's one of them. Um, you can't really unlap yourself, I've noticed. Um, even if you were on the faster compound tires and stuff, just game. The minute you were in front of the leader, boom, blue flag. You're pulled out of the way. Um, so it's very hard to unlap yourself. So... I think this is the window for Teal. We're going to pit this lap. So we've managed to extend everything by one, which is pretty good. We're pretty happy with that. The only hope people are doing a two stop race because, uh, as it stands at the moment, what's our tire, people's tire life like? Oh, they will be. Oh, they will be. So Leclerc's into the pits, we're into the pits. Who else is in the pits? Snoodle, Vettel. Ooh, we could have cost Vettel time getting out there. I think, I think Albon has done that. Uh, and we can literally now push flat to the end of the race. Four cars. Who's behind Albon? Oh, we're ahead of Snuda. Although that's going to cost us time. Yep, cost us a second. And here comes the Ferrari to cost us more time. Oh my god, there goes Snuda. Oh my god, bomb it. And Vettel's right on our tail. What are you doing, man? Alpha Tower regained a place. So I think this could be us actually. Oh, Tio. We're going to go overtake with Tio. That was a horrible exit off that turn. Just hoping we could get Vettel. What's going on in the front of the race? Leclerc there is Verstappen way out in the distance. Science is a good back. So really the top two teams, Ferrari and Red Bull, are in their league of their own. And any good fights down here, Ricardo or knock on. Ricardo did well to recover, he was behind us while ago, but I think he's running long on the hards. He'll be in the pits soon. Mick Schumacher's in the pits. Anyone else here to pit? I think everybody else now will be running till the end. Joe on the soft tires could be deadable yet. Vettel on the softs at 90 should see out the race. That's the move, that's the move. So what we're gonna do here now is Do we hold and up? There's an overtake from Williams. Second lead. It's probably enough. What's happening here? We're out of that, so we need to go to overtake just to get ourselves back in the, the DRS range of Sanuda. Oh, how are we losing that much time? That's not going to work. What's he driving behind? Oh, Ferrari sucking him along. I was wondering where he went to. Ah, oh, that's, that's mightily upsetting. There goes Vettel. Oh, we whoa. Let's take a closer look. Now oh. we see the Williams here. And yes, that's where they spin out. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened uh, out there. That is devastating. So he's going again, but uh, yeah, T.O. there cost himself, we're just going to back times too. So we're down to 12 laps guys, 12 laps.
Oh, that was scotting. We were on board and everything. Oh, man. Oh, another carol of pizza. I won't go on Daniel. He might suck us long, actually. Because he's on the soft tire, we're on the hard tire. Hmm. Maybe didn't think this one through. I did it this way because I thought the car would be lighter, we'd be able to go harder and faster on the hair tires. But it uh, might have backfired for me. Oh, this is tire life after the spin. Looks to be okay. Looks and to a be new okay. position just gained by Williams. So the fight is on, guys. I do think we're going to need to harvest some energy for the last lap of the race, though. Oh my god, that McLaren was fast. The problem here is... McLaren, gain a position! Ricardo has the soft tires on, he could leave us here. Low fuel, so be mindful of that. We're going to have to conserve there. Let's just do lift and coast. And we just need to keep an eye on the gap to Mick. I think we have the beating of Vettel if we can uh, get our strategy right. Um, hopefully Danny here will suck us along. Shame to see he's lost his drive. Oh man. I think Tio's going to lose 18th. I think there's been a lock up. Yep, Tio is definitely going to lose 18th. Uh, where are we going to go? Harvest. Neutral. So we're getting all the messages now. Really is about race management from here. This is the joys of underfueling the car. You are light at the start line. But um, it does take a little bit of. Um, Getting it over the finish line at the end. And McLaren with a great overtake. Oh, I think we've broken. No, we haven't. Oh, man. I was just going to say I thought we broke the tour to Vettel. It had a second up on the screen, but I don't know, the tiny screen is a little bit funky. Did we get Daniel there? We did. Harvest. And there's an overtake from Williams. So we're going to go external camera for a while. Let's see all the action unfold. There's a Ferrari coming up pretty quick behind us. Must be Carlos. There's Vettel out of the way. Oh, Vettel's going to get a cream of a run on us. Oh, he got blocked off. This is Linus Stern. Seven laps to go, guys. Seven laps to go. Can't really look away at the moment. I'm afraid that if I do speed it up anymore, we might not get what we wanted. So, there's pressure on us. How is Theo doing... Yo is being caught. We need to just see can we get uh, instant low fuel messages. Because I just realized Mick Schumacher has stroll all over the back of him. So Tio could finish last year, yes. Hmm. Oh, a few lone bow cars, my god. I'm going to go conserve your lifting post. Back to balance for the strays. A little bit of managing everything. Uh, and there goes Danny Rick. McLaren. 
Baron, gain a position. Um, I think we might do an old lifting course here into the uh, T1. I think we're gonna to have to go back and lift and course here. Five laps to go, guys. Five laps. DRS really save us a bunch here. Oh, that's nasty. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That's gonna push us out of the second. We didn't get DRS. Nor did we get it down there. Oh man. Really fighting here now. Should have it here. Yes, thank God. Thankfully we managed to save up a little bit of uh, DRS. We're going to have to possibly do that again. We're going to go back to the lifting course here for a Pass while. With an overtake there. Again, DRS will save us going into harvest mode. We're down to three laps. Oh, Tio's under pressure from Mick. And a new position just gained by Williams. DRS here should save us again. Yep. So I'm hoping we're pretty okay for fuel here now. Um, Mick can be, or Tio can be put back to balance because he's behind Mick now. Pass with an overtake. There's an overtake from Williams. So P15 could be on the cards here if we play it right. We'll try and do our best to get uh, Tio back into 18th if we can against Mick. Is that a new race course, position for Haas? It's going to all come down to this, guys. All come down to this. Gonna harvest. Gonna harvest. Gonna go neutral. Gonna go neutral. So we're just watching the mini map here now and we're doing our best. So we're coming on to the last lap guys. I think we're in a good place with Tio. There goes Danny Rick. with a great overtake so this is the one this is where it's going to matter going to go overtake, overtake here. is available yep okay i'm going to go push
We need to do overtake here. We can't push. Have to use the overtake. Oh, we got done. Oh, nasty. Oh, we got done, but I think Tio is going to hold on. Uh, oh, That's Jesus. Leclerc. Sebastian Vettel Charles is pretty Leclerc close. Is today's winner. Use the rest. Yep, copy. Can we get him on the line? Oh. We just missed out. Oh, that's a little bit upsetting. But uh, P16, P19, guys, first race for what is technically the slowest car on the grid, and um, bodes well for the future. If we can put on a few upgrades, get us a little bit quicker, might get us up to the back of Ricardo, Uncle Joe, Sunuda, Magnussen, Akon, and so on. So that's probably what we're looking for, guys. So we just finish out the race here. Who's not finished? Norris, and there we go. What a pleasure it was to watch Alex Albon on the track and an amazing result to match. Some drive from Alex, to be fair. He throws away his hands device. Um, well, that's not his hands device, is it? So it's just that. Uh, Williams have got to uh, be happy with their partners. results here. Can't take this name right work. now. This but, uh, was thrilling to watch. They've done an some weird looking highs there, but yeah, Williams, you have managed to do it, guys. With the race wrapped uh, up, the team is ranked in ninth in the constructor standings. Yes, the get in. So that's already on target for our season. So, of Saudi Arabia. Um, if we can keep that up and keep beating the Aston Martins, we'll be doing okay. And if we get any surprise races, you never know we might just be able to do something so p16 p19 pretty happy with that guys uh ferrari win obviously so it's pretty even between the top two as i say valtteri bottas doing well pierre gasly mercedes picking up points um alpine and mclaren are struggling with their second car so might be a chance there yes but uh and Haas as well of course no points either but they have a mm -hmm. fast car in a straight so um, as it stands Aston Martin is our target this year but we'll see how we go driver development picking up plenty of points for our drivers Jack Aiken gets nothing um, so yeah all in all guys it's been a good weekend so that's it guys I think we call it here I've been Snow May 6 this has been F1 Manager 2022 and this has been the first round at Bahrain so we'll be back for round two. I think it's Jeddah is round two. Um, so we'll be back for that. Um, and if anything exciting happens before qualifying, we'll be back with that. If not, we'll have practice of qualifying and all those good stuff to come. So that, guys, as always, thanks very much for, thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you all again. Take care.